everybody and welcome to ACN TV One. You are with Manis La Colombe. It's been a while since I did a broadcast with you and I am super, super excited to be with you again today. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Pastor A. Hambe Lufile. He is from Resurrected Christ International Church here in Irving, Texas. He has a powerful testimony to share with us today and I promise you you want to stay glued to your seat and listen to everything he has to say. Hello pastor and welcome to our show. God bless you. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I am doing great. Amen. I'm doing great. Praise God. Yes. So pastor let's <clears throat> jump right into it. Yes. Tell us about how long have you been serving the Lord as a pastor and did you start the church in Africa or did you start the church right here in the U.S.? Uh, I did not start the church in Africa. I came and started the church here. Matter of fact, I am among the first men of God in this uh, metroplex to start a church. Mm. All this Congolese church, a lot of people started in our church. So I started the church here in 2000, in, in 1990, uh, it was 1999. Uh, that's wow. when we started the church that's, here. That's, yes. a, that's, a, that's many years. Many, many years. Many, many yes, years. Yes, yeah. yes. Go uh, way, way, go way, 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 way back. Exactly, exactly. All I right. remember those days and and uh, thank God today we're still alive. Amen. Yes, yes, Praise yes. Praise God. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Pastor, everyone has a past. Yes. Whether you are serving the Lord as a pastor or you are exercising the five ministries, yes. you come from somewhere, right? You exactly. have a past. So tell us a little bit about your past. How did you encounter the Lord? What were you doing prior to that? How did you encounter the Lord and where did it happen? Uh, as I was growing, I was a very disobedient child. Did you not know, obey my parents? First of all, when I, I, I was born, my dad and mother gave me away to my uncle. I knew my uncle as my biological father and my aunt as my biological mother. And one time they announced me that your father is coming to get you so you can be able to go to Kinshasa. Mm -hmm. And when my father came, I was so, so confused. I did not know who's, who was really my father because right. my uncle loved me so much. Yeah. I spent most of my childhood with my uncle. uncle. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and, and uh, we can start there, and, and, uh, and uh, from that time, I, 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 I was really, there was a lot of confusion going in my mind to find who is really my father. Mm. And, 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 and when we arrived in, in Kinshasa, my father found that I was suffering with a lack of intellect capacity. And he was trying to correct me. It's just like today you plant a tree, and that tree, if you do not take all the precautions so you can make the tree grow straight, that tree, if it, it, it bends, it goes, it goes the other side, right. even you try everything, try to bring it to become straight, mm -hmm. it won't get straight. Mm. So I disobey a lot. I was a very disobedient child, rebellious mm. to a to a, to, to a point that I did not know what to do. So, because of that lack, and, uh, lack of intellectual capacity, I decided, a friend of mine said, I know someone who can help you. Mm -hmm. We can go and see a witch doctor that will help you. Ooh. Yes. So we went to see the witch doctor. When we went to see the witch doctor, the witch doctor, the first day he saw me, he said, he gave my name. Mm -hmm. He really mm -hmm. impressed me. I mm -hmm. thought he was a man of God. And, 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 and he said... Wait a I, minute. It's a witch doctor. Yes. So why would you think that it's a, a god or he's from God if he's a witch doctor? But, but you, you know, the way he, when he saw me, I did not even tell him my name. And he told me my name. And he told me the need that I came to see him. Hmm. He kind of prophesy in my life. You know, in this last day, a lot of people, yes. they love a Prophecies. prophetic word. Yes. But it's not every prophet that That's prophesy in your life is mm. a true prophet. Amen. Yeah. Yes. 
So, uh, 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 by oppressing me. Another way, he used manipulation, mind control, and intimidation, which is a form of witchcraft, try to get me. And I gave in. Mm. And he told me, say, you know what? You have a situation. You are hurting in school. Because I was every time the, the last of my school mm. with five or seven percent. And, 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 and I went to see him as the oldest of the family. As you know in Africa, the oldest of the family is supposed to take care of the family. Mm -hmm. So I went because of this, uh, this, uh, this problem I had, I went to see the witch doctor. First of all, I went to the church and did not receive anything. Mm. So I say, well, now what am I going to do? I went to see this witch doctor, and the witch doctor was supposed to tell me things that I wanted to hear. So you see, it is a problem right there, because when you go to church, that's yes. where you're supposed to get deliverance, that's where you're supposed to be prayed for, and that's where you, people expect to get their so the, the, the solutions to their problems. Exactly. And here you are, turning to the church, mm -hmm. and you leave out there still empty-handed. You know, my dear beloved sister, today the church is not what it used to be called the church. They have the form of God, but yet they deny the power of God that can change the hurting. They think the gospel has become a way of financial gain. Yep. A lot of churches that you see, they are not there for your soul. They are there, they for, are there for your pocket. Mm. They are there for your money. Mm. That's one of the reasons I did not get my deliverance in that church. Right. Because first of all, they did not believe in the gift of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. They did not believe even in speaking in tongue. They will, they did not believe at all. So I could not stay in the church with all my struggle and my problem. Mm -hmm. I decided if we do not know how to take care of people that come with the little monkey in the shoulder, and try to bring them to give them deliverance, they will go, the devil will re recuperate them. Uh, yeah. They will wind up going seeing medium, psychic, and palm readers. Yes. They'll go from worse to worse. Exactly. So that's, that's really happened to me. Because the church did not take care of me, I wind up going seeing this medical doctor, uh, this uh, witch doctor. He told me things that impressed me. Mm. But that time I did not have the biblical knowledge mm. to know. The Bible declared, who's that man who knows the things of a man? Expe ex expect the spirit of a man that dwells in him. As you know, my sister, your spirit knows everything about your past, mm. your present, and your future. Okay, when you are a child of God and you do not know, the Bible says, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. Mm. That lack, lack of knowledge, like some of you men of men and women of God, you have a situation. You went to church, you do not have the answer. And the enemy has come and filtrated in your life by telling you, if you go and see a psychic or a medium, they will give you an answer. Right. But I can tell you that as saved and born again, you are not supposed to go see witch doctors. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 18, you, 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 you go uh, uh, down verse 9, it says, If you come to the land which the Lord, the, Lord, the Lord has given you, you shall not learn the abomination of those nations. They shall not find among you anyone who gives his son or daughter pass through the fire. None of you shall go and consult those who consult the, the spirit of death. So this is talking about people, medium and psychic. You know, they don't know anything about you. They cannot predict your future. Mm. The only one who can predict your future is Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Law. Mm. That's why when you are going through struggle and pain, you need to come to him. Mm. He alone has the power to make the impossible to become possible and the incurable to become curable. He will heal you and deliver you if you believe because mm. that's only Thing God wants is for you to have faith. Without faith, it is impossible to, to please, please God. God. Amen. So I went to the witch doctor and, 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 and he said, you know what? I can give you what you need. I said, well, I was so impressed. I said, well, if you're going to solve this problem, it's going to be okay with me. Because I'm going to be able to go to college. I will graduate. I'm going to become someone in the society. Mm -hmm. I will take care of my family. Yeah. 
So that's 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 the that's the reason I went to see this witch doctor. He was offering you a good package. Oh, he was right? offering me so called <laughs> a good package, but yeah. he did not know any information. Mm. I informed him mm. about myself because my so what's happened when you go and see a witch doctor? A witch doctor have a spirit of divination. And he will, he will be there trying, like he's going to have a, a crystal ball, trying to, to fool you around that he's trying to get information. But what he's really trying to do is to get in touch with your spirit. Spirit and spirit, they do communicate. As long as you are in that witch doctor office, you have disobeyed. And disobedience, the Bible says, it's just like a spirit of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. So that witch doctor will have the power now to get information from your from your spirit, and your spirit will tell him. We will tell him you, his name is Ehambe. Mm. His father's name is this. You see, the witch doctor did not know anything. He does not know anything about your future. So the spirit of divination takes over. Exactly. Okay, so let's quickly go into how you encounter the Lord. Well, I encountered the Lord because when I was suffering with a lack of intellect capacity. I went to see the witch doctor because my testimony took that long. He gave me what they call a magical pen. With my, this magical pen, I was able to answer all my qu the questions. But if you ask me the question that I answer in that piece of paper, orally, I wasn't able to answer. Hmm. So anyway, they were conditioned. You know, the devil will give you from the right hand, and he will come back and take it from, from the, the left hand. Mm -hmm. So I had these things. But the condition was not the pen to touch water, not a, whim, a woman to see that pen. It is impossible. I'm going to school where you have women. And I mean, I broke the law. Yeah. That's where my situation started. Mm. I got sick. Got sick. I went again back to see which doctor. When I went to see this witch doctor, they told me, say, you know what, to give you a solution, you need what they call the genie spirit. Genie, it's like we Christian, when we are, we are in need, we go after the Holy Ghost. So Muslim, they do believe in this genie. This genie comes and try so-called to predict their life, to give them power, and I wind up having spirit that they call genie. And there, automatically, I became a Muslim. Oh, wow, you became a Muslim. A Muslim. So things are just getting worse. Huh? It's getting worse and worse. Okay, so after the genie spirit, what happens next? How do you well, the genie spirit, uh, I have to drink a bottle of perfume. I was drinking every day. I don't know, my sister, how many bottles of perfume I consume in my life. And that's why today, even I have be, even though I was poisoned with seven metal, one of my assistant pastor poisoned me, but it's also because of this chemical that I was consuming mm -hmm. when I was practicing witchcraft. And 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 and, 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 and uh, when I I I I I, can, I, uh, I I got involved into witchcraft, this spirit, they came not to help me. They came to destroy because right. you need to understand the devil came to kill to steal mm -hmm. and destroy yes. but we thank Jesus because the Bible says for this purpose the Son of God was manifested to destroy the work of the devil regardless of the pain that you are going through my brother my sister trust Jesus and he will help you and he will deliver you mm -hmm. so I went things was not getting better Right. It was getting worse and worse. Now, I had a scholarship. I went to Europe. When I arrived in Europe, I went to see a friend. They gave me, when I received this spirit, they called them the genie. And they say, you cannot eat pork meat. As you know, a lot of Muslims, they don't eat pork meat. Mm. They say that it's an unclean uh, 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 animal. Mm. So I went to see him. And I asked him, my, my, dear, dear Sombo, how, what did you cook? He said, I cook beef and I cook chicken. He, he cooked a mixed pot of meat. And I went and ate without knowing that he cooked pork. That's where my situation got worse. I was crazy. And my sister, I suffered for 15 years. So 
I went and I had an opportunity in 19, I, I, I left my country in 1977. I went to Belgium. I was going to, uh, uh, to univers uh, university over there, uh, l'Université Libre de Bruxelles. And um, when they found that I was sick, one of my daddy's best friend decided to send me to America. When they, I came to America, I was going to George Washington University Hospital. They diagnosed me with a bone cancer. And uh, I was having pain. Nothing was working, regardless of the medical attention. My situation got worse. Then my medical doctor said, hey, listen, you know, instead of sending you home, dead man, as a dead man, it's better for you to go right now. Because shipping a dead body will cost more than sending you alive. So, when I was on the plane, that's when everything started. I met with a white American woman. And that woman, name is Barbara Casual. When she saw me, she noticed that I had a spirit that was tormenting me because I wasn't sleeping at all. From Washington, D.C. to New York, from New York to Switzerland, she said, she looked at me, she said, hey, are you doing okay? And I said, no. She said, I'm going to pray for you. She prayed, and the Lord gave, him, gave her a word. The word she received, she gave me a book, How to Try a Spirit by Mary Garrison. She said, from this day, you have been set free to serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Law. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is upon you. The Lord will use you in a mighty way. As you are going back home, the Lord will deliver you back in your country. And in a few months, you will be able to come back to America. You're going to go to a Bible college. You're going to graduate from Bible college. In that Bible college, you're going to have a scholarship. And when I came over, every single word he spoke came to pass. Okay. So you went back home? Yes. And did you go to a church where somebody prayed for you? And that's how you got your... Uh, you met with the Lord, or how did you, did you go to your room and then pray to yourself and the Lord appeared to you and that's how you were saved, or how did it happen? Well, first of all, I did not really know how to pray, even though the prophecy I received. So there was a, 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 a young man that came to, 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 to my family, her home. He was 11 years old. He came with a scripture, Ezekiel 33, verse 11. He says, uh, uh, God does not take pleasure for the dead of the wicked. Mm -hmm. The only pleasure that God takes is that the wicked person may change. Would you please give your life to Jesus? Mm -hmm. I accepted Jesus Christ. And after, after him giving this word, he said that the Lord is going to touch you. The Lord is telling me that you are a prophet that the Lord is going to use. So then I start searching. That's when I went and found my father in faith, Pastor Richard Kalonji. And he kept me there for three days. Mm -hmm. And the only thing we were doing, sleeping in the bush, three days without eating and drinking, that's the way the Lord delivered me. Wow. Through the power, the power, the weapon that the Lord has provided for us, the power of prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. I received my deliverance and my sister, there were more than seven evil spirits manifested in my body. Ooh. When I got free, I felt fire in my bones. Mm. From that day on, mm. the Lord has chosen me. Wow. The Lord has been using me. Amen. Yes. Wow, that is powerful. So the Lord Jesus Christ is the only one that can set you free. No matter what you you have going on, no matter what kind of situation you are going through, whether you are in the occult world or whatever it may be, the Lord Jesus Christ is capable of setting you free. Amen. So since we're speaking of this world of darkness, Pastor, Yes. we want to know a little bit about uh, because there are so many different uh, uh, occult words that we you yes. know, that we are talking about. There's uh, Freemasonry, there's witchcraft, there's Illuminati, there's Satanist. So how different does a magician, for instance, operate versus someone who's from a, a, a Freemason or a Satanist? What is the difference between the two? Well, because they are, they are all part of the occult world, but how different do they operate? Well, you know that there are levels of power. 
The Bible declares we do not fight against blood and flesh. We fight against power. For, we, we fight against uh, 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 power and forces of darkness in heavenly places. Mm. Okay? Now, you need to understand that all of those things that you just named, they have one master. Mm. And the master is uh, the devil. And you need to understand that the devil has only three ministries. He came to kill, mm -hmm. to steal, mm -hmm. and destroy. The devil does not have no power to heal. He only has a power to transfer. That's a lot of time, a lot of people, they don't understand. When I go to a witch doctor or I go to a psychic, I'm going to get healed. No, the psychic is not going to heal you. No. Because if he heals you, his kingdom is divided. And the kingdom of Satan cannot be divided. They work shoulder to shoulder. But they are level, hierarchy. Mm. They are levels. You have like a, you 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 do have like sorcerer. Mm. You have witch doctors. You have a, 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 a medium, psychic. All these people, they all are the agent of Satan. They do the ministry of destruction, mm. regardless of what they give you. They may give you money today. Mm. Tomorrow they will bring you a suicidal spirit right. when you are going to lose the money. Mm. Say so they don't help. So. It, I can just explain you, when I used to be involved in witchcraft, I had the, a kind of evil power to speak evil if I don't like you. Mm. I will speak evil and curse you. Mm. And if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are exposed. Yeah. Because, you know, the Bible tells us there is power in the tongue. Yes. Power to give life and power to give death. Yes. Witchcraft is what we speak. Mm. What is not what we go and do, but what we speak. And if that word, that spoken curse, has found you not rooted on the rock, not being a solid in the word of God, that's what I would recommend every man of God to meditate in the word of God, to be able to find you a church where you're going to be able to learn about God. That's the only way the protection of God will come in your life. Amen. So uh, for our viewers who yes. are watching us, yes. somebody might be in this occult world, mm -hmm. and they want out. They want to come out of it, but they just feel powerless, of course. Because I know that it's easy to go in, yes. but it's not so easy to come out. Exactly. Because the devil does not want you to leave that place exactly. once you're in there. Exactly. What can you tell them? Well, you need to understand, uh, first of all, if you are involved into the occult, that the devil will intimidate you with lie. He is uh, the father of lie. He's going to tell you the day you are going to renounce these things, uh, you're going to be crazy. You're going to get sick. You're going to die. You know, the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear. He gave us a spirit of power, mm -hmm. love, and sound mind. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, where you are right now, the things that you are involved with, you need to go and see a man of God and confess these things and let the man of God make sure this man has an anointing in his life that he will be able to pray and get you out from the bondage of the evil one. You confess. You give your life to Jesus. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Let me tell you, I guarantee you, you're not going to die. You are not going to go crazy. You're not going to lose your mind. The Lord is going because of your confession. The Bible declares if you confess your sin, the Lord will be able to justify you and to forget about what he has forgiven you. And he will give you the power and the protection of the King of Kings and the Lord of Law will come in your life. Don't have no fear. Come to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. And he will help you. Amen. So there is no other name that can save but the name of Jesus. So give your life to Christ and he is going to set you free. Pastor, pray it, for our viewers. Amen. I want you, if you are watching me on the screen, even though I am so far away, I pray that my prayer may go and touch you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I commend every single individual who are watching me. Those people who have been involved into witchcraft, into sorcery, 
who have the fear of going out of their mind. I pray, Jehovah, you are the King of kings and the Lord of law. The Bible you declare, your name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. There is only one name has been given above all names. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess. I command the spirit of witchcraft in the name of Jesus to leave you alone and be set free. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So the same God, the same Jesus who was able to set Pastor Ayambe free from the occult world, from being a magician and practicing witchcraft, is the same God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. If he was able to do it for the Pastor Ayambe, he can certainly do it for you as well. Just amen. call upon him and he can do wonders in your life. Pastor, tell us about your church. You have a church in Irving, so tell us about the time, the hours you are fellowshipping, so that anybody that our uh, viewers that are interested in going to that church and fellowshipping with you can also uh, join you for your services. Our church is located on 1104 and 1108 Luke Street, Irving, Texas, and the uh, zip code 75061. You are more than welcome to come and visit us. We have a slogan in our church, the vision. It is not only a church, but a family and a place of refuge and solution. Regardless of the problem that you're having, the Bible says, come to me, all of you who are having heavy laden, and I, the Lord, will give you rest. It's a church where the Spirit of God is alive. When we minister, the Lord confirm his word in signs and wonder. We are waiting for you. When you arrive, let us know how you knew about the church, and we're going to take care of you. May the Lord bless you, and thank you very much. Amen. So, Pastor Ayambe is going to be starting a series of uh, teachings on our broadcast right here on ACM TV One. So just be on the lookout for those series coming up very, very soon. And then I'm sure you will, uh, you will you'll be blessed through him coming out and just ministering to you. Uh, Pastor, we've practically come to the end of our show. Any last few words? Well, you know, we are not here on this show try to show ourselves. We are coming because the Lord told me to be able to win soul. And I'm dedicating this uh, show. And uh, for you who do not know Christ, even for you who knows Christ, but yet you are backslide to come close to God. And God so loved the world. That's why he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believe in him, the Lord will set him free. Come to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus because he is the only one that can take you to the Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor, for joining us. It was a pleasure to God have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. So, here you have heard him. He has spoken from his heart. And you have heard of the powerful testimony of how God transformed his life. He went from the darkness, the world of darkness, to lightning, to, to lightning into serving the Lord and being a pastor serving God is just so wonderful and we thank the Lord for what he has accomplished in Pastor Ahembe's life and again if he has done it for him he can certainly do it for you as well just surrender your life to Christ and we believe that God will use you mightily for his kingdom so this concludes our broadcast for today I hope you have been richly blessed and I look forward to seeing you again very very soon take care of yourself and shalom bye bye <music>